Hey guys, welcome to this very different episode of Product Nation, where we're talking about a product that's quite a bit bigger than the usual ones we review. It's a 55-inch TV from Samsung. Now, what's unique about this TV and what makes it really different is that it is like no other comparable TV in the market. That's right, we're talking about the frame from Samsung. Now, you must be wondering what makes this unique from any 4K TV out there. That is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. But before that, let's begin with the setup. So guys, let's start with the setup of the TV itself. The first and the most important part is to have your One Connect setup. The One Connect is more of a brain station for the entire TV. So all your inputs and outputs are going to be on this. And even your power input and supply is all coming from here to the TV. So let's start by connecting these. For the connectivity, you have an Ethernet input, four HDMI inputs, two USBs, wireless and Bluetooth built into the One Connect. This is pretty much, like I said, the hub for it. So everything is connected to the One Connect, which then connects to the frame itself. This removes messiness and keeps the frame just that, a frame. Now, if I just leave it this way, most people, if I hang it up on the wall, wouldn't even realize it's a TV unless you get really close. It looks really great as a frame itself. The picture selection is pretty decent. You would have to subscribe for more kind of pictures on there. We're going to talk a little bit more about the frame selection later in the video, but that's what it would look like as a picture in the ambient mode. The resolution is really nice. The pixel density is really good on this. And the sound quality, surprisingly, is really, really good. I was standing all the way across from the other side of the room and getting it all the way up to 80%, the volume sounds really, really good. Getting back to the remote control itself, you have different buttons on here for ease of use and convenience. There's the Netflix button that pretty much just brings you to Netflix. There's the Amazon Prime, which brings you to Prime Video. There's also www, which is basically your web browser. So you can browse through the internet as well. Home button obviously brings up the home menu where you can scroll through, navigate very easily. There's also a microphone button, which is to trigger Bixby. So you can use it with your voice rather than having to do anything else. So if I hold it on and say, open Netflix, Done, that's how easy it is. So you don't really even need to navigate using the remote control if you're using the voice recording. But we're gonna start by trying out 4K gaming on this using a PS4 Pro. We're gonna try out 4K and see the performance and image quality on the Samsung Frame TV. Before we talk about the actual gaming itself, the output coming from the PlayStation is, as you can see, 4K, as well as HDR being supported. Now, when it comes to the color contrast and everything on screen, it looks magnificent in terms of your colors, your sharpness, the details that you get in a decently exposed room. This is something to keep in mind. It has pretty low input lag, which means your button presses will be recognized fairly quickly. And apparently the fourth HDMI, which is for gaming, can interpolate up to 120 hertz in refresh rate to give you ultra smooth and fast response with motion and make it look really silky smooth. The high contrast ratio is really great for gaming in the dark and it looks overall really good. Now in well-lit environments, which means if it's slightly brighter, the HDR performance isn't really truly the best. When it comes to peak brightness, it isn't bright enough to make HDR content look significantly better than SDR content. The HDR is great, don't get me wrong, but if you're in a bright environment, you won't really feel that difference. Now the main distinguishing feature on this is obviously gonna be the art mode, which displays various paintings, artworks, landscapes, or even your own personal pictures instead of a black screen when it's off. To make this happen, Samsung has partnered with a number of of renowned museums, including the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which is really great for that kind of authentic experience. If you mount it up on the wall with the provided manual, you can get that real painting experience. It also has a motion detection feature that'll turn the TV off if no one's looking at it at a set time. The borders of the TV, the bezels are magnetic, which means you can get separate frames that you can attach on top if you want to get a proper frame look to it. So if you want to stick it on your wall and make it look like a proper painting, there's different textures you can get. Now there's multiple things you can do with the ambient mode as well. The lighting on this and the color temperature is controlled and balanced based on the ambient light. So it can cool down the temperature or warm up the temperature based on your ambient surrounding. So that can increase the contrast and the black point depending on how dark or bright the room is. It's got sensors all over to detect that kind of stuff. Now, if you're into the art side of this more, which is probably one of the main reasons to purchase this for, there's multiple selections for the art pieces that you can choose from. There's also a subscription for a certain price that you can get with access to multiple paintings or arts that you want to apply for the frame look of it in the ambient mode. So it's a very customizable setup and you can control what it looks like when it looks like. You can add in borders. You can make it look really cool, basically. You don't have to use these provided stands. Now there's another thing that you can do if you're using the phone application on a Samsung phone or the non-Samsung phone in the smart things is where you can customize this to kind of fit your ambience. 
So if you're putting it down on a table and you want it to fit a textured background or a textured wall, you can take a picture using your phone and it's gonna fill in the spaces to make it look like you're actually 3D and it's kind of invisible. So it's very interesting. We kind of don't have a textured background to try that with, but definitely give it a try. We're gonna give you some examples on screen right now as well. The frame is a very unique TV. We haven't seen many other TVs have an ambient mode where you can turn it into a painting pretty much. It doesn't protrude out from the wall too much. It's kind of like flush with the wall, which is really great, even though it's thick. All right, so now let's talk about some pros and cons. And finally, who this TV really is for, because obviously this isn't something that anyone would want to purchase. So for the pros, first we have it delivers great image quality for the most kind of content that you consume on the internet. So that would be watching movies, watching your TV shows, maybe browsing the internet. Great content for that. The fact that you can share your screen in an AirPlay from any device and use it on a bigger screen kind of promotes that usability to it. So it's really great for that kind of stuff. Secondly, it has great response rate when it comes to gaming. So your input latency is quite low. Button recognition feels very responsive and it has smooth refresh rates if you connect a higher refresh rate devices like 120 Hz support. It has interpolation to kind of give you that fast response rate and smooth buttery finish. Lastly, you have all these smart controls and functionality you get with any smart TV and it works really well. It's very well integrated with the application and whatever phone you use, you'll get perfect support from that. That is something that's very great. Now let's talk about the cons on this. There wasn't really a significant con, but one thing that we did notice is that the peak brightness on this wasn't enough to make HDR content look significantly better than standard dynamic content. Now, this is something we've noticed because we've tried out a lot of HDR 10 and 10 plus screens and displays, and you can really see a huge difference comparatively. So if you're in a bright environment where the lights around you are quite bright, the HDR performance just won't be that great. That's something you need to keep in mind. The second con on this would be that the viewing angles aren't the greatest. So depending on which angle you're looking at it from, you'll feel like the image is a little bit washed out, a little bit less colorful, and just overall does not look as good as it does when you look at it head on. Finally, who is this TV really for? Now, obviously this isn't the first TV you would go to if you're just looking for cinematic experience or you're looking for a 4K TV that has good colors. There's, there's a lot of other options out there, even from Samsung and some other brands as well. The main reason to buy this is if you want a TV that blends in with your decor or you're someone who's into classical artwork or you prefer that kind of environmental look where it blends into your environment a lot better. This is definitely a huge plus and you should be getting this without a doubt because there's nothing else in the market that does it like this. However, do not buy this if you're just getting a good value for money TV for watching movies, enjoying Netflix, TV shows, that kind of stuff. If that's your sole purpose, then this is not the TV for you. The black rushing issue that I mentioned, the peak brightness being low, makes it a little bit difficult to enjoy it to the max potential for the money that you're paying for it in bright environments, as well as you can get a lot better TVs for cheaper if you're looking exclusively just for 4K and image quality overall. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for image quality, movies and that kind of stuff, this is not the TV for you. So that's all right, guys. That is our review of the Frame Samsung TV. Really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and do consider subscribing for more content just like this. And we'll see you again in the next video.